my God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. Come on, let's sing it again. My God, how great, how great you are. My God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. Sing hallelujah. Sing it. Hallelujah. 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 How great you are. How great, hallelujah, 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 how great you are, how great, my God, how great, my God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. My God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. Sing hallelujah. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! How great you are! How great! Hallelujah! 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 How great! How great. Father, in the name of Jesus, speak to us on this morning prayer broadcast. Minister to us. Allow the word of God to come alive in us. Let it build faith in us. Let it make our faith stronger, God. Help us to learn how to believe you and how to receive miracles from you, God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sing it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How great you are. How great. Hallelujah. 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 Mighty God, we can just worship all morning, right? Now listen, on this morning, I want to share this with you. Right place, right time. Sometimes you know what it takes to get a miracle, being at the right place at the right time. And such was this story that I'm about to share with you from the book of Mark chapter 2. Now watch this. Mark chapter 2, verse 1 through 12, the Bible says, when Jesus returned to Capernaum several days later, the news spread quickly that he was back home. Soon the house where he was staying was so packed with visitors that there was no more room, even outside the door. Whilst he was preaching God's word to them, four men arrived carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. Well, you know when the Holy Ghost sets the story up like this, you know something's about to happen because the first thing it says that Jesus was in the house and when the news spread that he was there, the people packed and gathered around to the point that there was no room there. And then it says he was preaching the word because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of the living God. Our first and foremost ministry are to be teachers and preachers of the word because that's what gives the people their faith to receive miracles from God. Watch this. Verse four, the Bible says they couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd. They were at the right place. They were there at the right time, but they could not get to Jesus. They couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd. I like these boys. So they went up on the roof and dug a hole through the roof above his head. 
And that's the kind of action I like right there. Right in the middle of service, just rip the whole roof off, right? We got to get to Jesus. I say we got to get to Jesus, right? That's the only way you're going to get a miracle. So they climb on the roof and rip it open. This is what I like with people of faith. Nothing, they will not allow nothing to stop them. A person who is desperate for a miracle just refuse to quit. They refuse to give up. They are like the Energizer Bunny. They keep on going and going and going. That's how you got to be. You got to be aggressive. You got to be persistent until you get your breakthrough, until you get your miracle. Now watch this. So the Bible says they couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, so they ripped the roof open. Then they lowered the man on his mat right down in the front of Jesus. That saw a great way to get a preacher's attention. Listen to verse five. Seeing their faith. Jesus calls this faith. He doesn't call it foolishness. Some of the Pharisees, they were ready to stone this guy probably. What are these knuckleheads doing? Breaking up a service like this. But the Bible says, Jesus seeing their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, son, your sins are forgiven. But some of the teachers of religious law who were sitting there thought to themselves, what is he saying? This is blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. Well, God was right in the front of them. They were just too blind to see him. Jesus knew immediately what they were thinking. So he asked them, why do you question this in your hearts? Is it easier to say to the paralyzed man, your sins are forgiven or to say, stand, stand up, pick up your mat and walk. So I will prove to you, <laughs> like Jesus, man. So I will prove to you that the son of man has the authority on earth to forgive sins. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, stand up, pick up your mat and go home. Glory to God. The Bible says in verse 12, and the man jumped up grabbed his mat and walked out through the stunned onlookers. They were all amazed and praised God, exclaiming, we've never seen anything like this. Glory to God. I tell you what, God's about to do some stuff that you ain't never seen in this new year that we are in. Are you listening to me? God told me this is the year to rule. This is the year to reign. My gosh, Jesus ruled and he reigned. He dominated sickness. A man who was paralyzed jumped up and began to walk. Thank God him and his friends had faith. They were in the right place at the right time, listening to the right preacher under the right anointing, and they receive a right miracle. Are you listening to me? You've got to be in an atmosphere of miracles taking place. You notice most of the miracles that took place in the Bible took place under Christ's ministry because Christ carried an atmosphere of faith. And this is why we are inviting you to the Freeport Miracle Crusade coming this March 8 and the 9th. That's in two months. Why are we inviting you? Because there's a special anointing on a miracle crusade. When all of the saints get together and put their faith together, come together, expecting God for miracles to happen, there is a special anointing of the Holy Ghost release for miracles to happen and miracles happening because you are there, Pastor Sean. No, miracles happen because we all come together believing God for miracles and God honors all of our faith and the Holy Ghost begins to move. The blind receive their sight. The deaf begin to hear. The cripples begin to war, cancer are cured, but you got to be in a place where people are together of like precious faith, expecting for miracles to happen. And that's where miracles happen. So this man was in the right place at the right time. And he received a miracle from God. My God, how great. My God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. My God, how great you are. My God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. Sing hallelujah. Come on, church. Hallelujah. 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 How great, hallelujah, 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 how great you 
power, how great. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed into this ministry. Support the work of God. This ministry is a blessing to you. I'm asking you to get behind it. I'm asking you to support it. You can visit us online, seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. If you prefer to give through the ministry, PayPal account, that address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pender Ministries. PayPal.me forward slash Sean Pender Ministries. If you prefer to mail in your donations, your offerings, your tithes, make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pender Ministries, P.O. Box 11. 7442 Carrollton, Texas 75011-7442 You know we appreciate you, right? We don't take you for granted at all. Me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we are here for you. We are believing God with you for your miracle, for your breakthrough, for your turnaround. We serve a good God. Hallelujah. Yeah, sing it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How great. How great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, so be looking forward to another broadcast. Never forget me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We care deeply about you. We appreciate you. Help me share this broadcast with somebody else that need a word of encouragement. And if you never had a chance to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can do so right now by clicking on the red and white subscribe button at the bottom right of this video. Do it right now and you'll receive all of our new uploads every time we go live. You will receive those notifications. God bless you. We love you. Take care now. Bye-bye.